Hello everybody, welcome back to Pokemon Sword and Shield. In this one we're going to take a look at where we can find Stone Yearner. Now I'm assuming this guy's pretty tough. So we're going to go, get, go ahead and hit it with a Brick Break and hope that it doesn't die. <laughs> um, so yeah, obviously it's not going to be affected by my usual strategy of giving it a bit of paralysis with Pawnyard here. Now this is over in the Lake of Rage area during... Um, intense sunlight. So for those that like to, um, you know, set their weather manually, uh, that date is going to be the 1st of the 7th, so the 1st of July in 2020, and that is going to allow you to encounter this guy. Okay, so it kind of wants to uh, take a little bit more damage. We've got a false swipe, which probably won't do that much damage, but it won't take it out. As long as it doesn't have a self-destruct move, we'll be fine. Obviously, I'm assuming people that are holding on now want to see the actual location on the map. We'll bring it up on the Kapokodex as well, uh, which should allow us to see if it spawns anywhere else. I don't think it does. I haven't seen it anywhere else on the map, so uh, we'll take a look at that in more depth in a second. Let's get it into red. I don't really know what that's doing. Okay, here we are in red. Now I hope I think this is called Stone Yearner. Could be Stone Journey, but I, think, I feel like I feel like Yearner makes sense for it. I don't know why. Obviously, it just wants to be Stonehenge. That's all this is. I don't know why they made a Stonehenge Pokemon. It's kind of funny. Oh, so close. Okay, let's give it a couple more false swipes. We're pretty close now. Leftovers doing some real work from here. We'd, we'd probably be in yellow by now if we didn't have those on. I'd have loved a critical hit there, that would have been lovely. We'll do one more. Sorry, this is taking way longer than I expected, you guys. Although, it, it, it's obviously not going to go over like five minutes or anything uh, ridiculous, so we should be okay. Hey. Alright, come on then now. So I guess maybe something like a... I don't think even Bug works very well on, on, uh, on Rock or Ground type, so... Um, in terms of getting it par paralysed or a or a decent um, state of summon on it, you probably want to try and go for sleep or something like that while straight out. Well, you're going to have to get another Pokeball. You shouldn't be getting weaker and then harder to catch, that just doesn't make any sense. Must paralyse me. <laughs> Come on, Bishop. You got it. You got this. You got this. Got a new Pokemon! Obviously, we're making our way to uh, pretty much complete most of the Pokedex. I'm probably not going to show every Pokemon, so the more obvious ones I'm obviously not going to do, but we're, uh, we're making some good progress now. So, this guy is Rock type. Yeah, we don't need you in party. Uh, so, to show this guy up, then, I don't I don't even remember like facing one, so it may. I don't even know if I've already got this in the Pokedex or not. A little all the way down. Nearly there, nearly there, nearly there. Stone, you know. Habitat. Yeah, so it's just the Lake of Rage over to the uh, the west. Oh no, we actually have it earlier than this. Um. Wow, it must be rare because I did not see one on that on Route Ten. So you can also get it in Route Ten, or you can get it at Lake of Outrage. Um, Lake of Outrage technically earlier because you can get there as soon as you. Um, or able to swim across the water across here, so this is probably a better place to catch it because it'll be lower level. Um, either way, guys, that is how we catch Stone Yona. Hope this was helpful for you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.